If you want to learn how to trade just like me, join the community, click the private discord link, sign up through this membership level and you will gain access to weekly group mentorship calls for free. Welcome back everyone to another Bitcoin update. Incredible call from yesterday where we made the video all the way back down here and we were suggesting that if we do not close beneath these wicks, well in fact this the lowest wick over here, we're not getting that bearish continuation and so from this point we should be expecting a double bottom and because of this specific candlestick pattern appearing at the support we're anticipating the reversal. You can see over here on this post is where we called it. This was the post where I essentially said the video is out now and uh, we were anticipating Bitcoin to continue pumping while this key level is being maintained as support and uh, as you saw uh, previously uh, we've got the we've seen the move up right now we've reclaimed the moving averages this is absolutely exceptional but we now need to maintain above it going to briefly sh show you another youtuber that um, saw a completely different thing in this scenario and uh, it's a perfect uh, explanation or example for why I don't really use trend lines I'd rather use horizontal key levels of support so if we're looking at Carl the Moon's post over here this is a main reason why I don't use trend lines because here yeah, you'd say this is an uptrend uptrend is lost so you then say Bitcoin is breaking down but did Bitcoin lose this low over here no so it's still technically higher a higher low so the fact that we're calling for uh, he was calling for a symmetrical triangle over here is incorrect because not only do you need to lose the uptrending line you need to lose the horizontal support and if we're just losing the uptrending line it just means we're coming down to the horizontal support and if we do not lose that wick then we're not getting lower lows and that's why this was uh, wrong in that case because we never lost this low over here and for that reason we've reversed and reclaimed uh, key levels and then looking for bullish continuation now you can clearly see this double bottom even though we called it so early on all the way back down over here so guys make sure you're following me on twitter where we post multiple updates throughout the day We've already posted a whole bunch today already, even before the videos uh, the videos have come out. Louis underscore crypto is the name. I would suggest using the links in the description down below. And if you want me to teach you how to do this, then I've got multiple things in place, whether it's a one-to-one -one mentorship plan that will include two months free in my Discord and uh, my six hour long pre-recorded video course that you'll have for the rest of your life on top of those either three, five or 10 hours of the one-to-one -one mentorship. Uh, now over here, what we are seeing for Bitcoin it's following the path gradually, but we've come back up into the golden pocket. For me, this is important. As you can see from my drawing yesterday, it's vital to push through and flip it in support. I'm going to get rid of this now because it's just showing the path to the 1618 target at 47.7k. That is essentially where Bitcoin is trying to head to, but there's one thing that stands in this way. We almost invalidated it by losing this wick over here, but we didn't lose it. And so we're looking to break the golden pocket. And once that is uh, confirmed as support, then we've created the reversal wave. So essentially right now we're coming back down to the 0.5, around 42, 42.3K. And then we're looking for it to reverse and continue with the reversal wave being confirmed and uh, essentially validating all these targets to the upside. Guys, there's not really much more to say. I know it's a short one today, but just had to go through uh, pretty much what happened yesterday and then let you guys know what needs to happen going forward. We need to now hold this newly formed bullish cross on the four hour time frame, uh, confirming the reclaim of the moving averages that we're in an uptrend. We can't go ahead and lose it like this. It needs to be stay confirmed as support and then a break of this level of resistance we're struggling with at the moment. So the reverse wave is created and then Bitcoin will be allowed to head to this to these targets between 46 and 47.7k that's it from me today like subscribe comment and share and if you want to get educated whether it's the course the discord the ebook or my one-to-one -one mentorship plan use the links down below to head to the twitter to message me or straight to the website cheers everyone I've got a whole bunch of educational content and over here on the website you can see loads of other people taking action recently if you want to get educated simply scroll underneath a video click take action or link tree and click the option that you want to read more about or private message me on Twitter. Let's start off with the ebook. This is where you can take action on my ebook, teaches the exact strategy. Head over to the membership level if you want to become a Discord channel member where you have access to two weekly group mentorship calls or if you want to take action on my six hour long pre-recorded course, there is an offer here and you do get Discord chat for two months totally free. Here is my beginner one-to-one -one mentorship plan which includes three hours of my one-to-one -one help the course and two months free in the chat and there are some other plans here for five or ten hours of my one-to-one -one help use the links down below to private message me on twitter or head straight to the website using one of these links 
to take action. Cheers.